What is up guys? In this video, I'm gonna be giving you my full review of the Gulu Jump Starter Power Bank. Now, I have tried so many power banks in the last 10 years. We're in Canada, the winters are insane. The last thing you ever wanna do is have a battery that blows out on you, that dies in the winter, you're stuck somewhere, it's super cold, that's not what you want. So look, I've tried so many different products. At the end of the day, this is the one product that I've absolutely loved. I've been using it for over the last eight months. And for my Audi R8, for my Lexus NX350H, if any battery issues arise, I feel super confident with this. So this is the Gulu GP2000. This is a slightly older model. They just upgraded this to the GP4000, but they're basically the same, just a higher amperage. This is 2000 amps on this. It can jumpstart your nine liter gas engine or seven liter diesel engine up to 36 times. So this has been really good. My Audi R8 has died a couple times already. You plug it in, it works really effectively and it's trusted and reliable. Now, on top of it, the biggest thing, of course, is it a super reliable jump starter? That's what you're buying this for? It absolutely is, but it has a whole bunch of other features that make this super useful. One, very sleek and small. Unlike a lot of other jump starters that take a ton of space, this thing's very small and sleek. It's also extremely easy to use. So jump starting the car is super simple. I'm gonna show you how it's done, but it also has other great features. It can go ahead and power up various other devices that you have. So it's got USB-A, a 2.1 amp. It's got a five volt, 12 volt connection, USB-C. It can also go ahead and start operating your vacuum or whatever else you have. So it's got a lot of the capability here to go ahead and it's got a flashlight as well. So you can go ahead, if it's dark outside, use the flashlight. You have all that capability. But the main thing is it's a reliable, consistent, easy to use jump starter. So let me show you how easy it is to use on my 2008 Audi R8 here that frequently dies because it just sucks up a lot of battery, but it's so easy to use. And for the cost, I'm gonna link the product in the description box down below with the link. It's about $130 for the GP4000. It's honestly the best $130 that I've spent and it brings me a lot of peace of mind knowing I have these in all of my vehicles. No matter where I am, I know I have a way in case of a dead battery to jumpstart it reliably. So let's go ahead and show you how it's done on my Audi. So they give you this little pack that has everything, the charger units, the jumping cables, all the cables that you need, USB SBC charging all that. Look, I'm gonna go ahead, pop open the trunk. Really simple. Let's say the battery's gone ahead and died. Perfect, I get access here. All I'm gonna do is whip out the charging clamps. So I'll show you how that connects in a second. The power bank, the jump starter, perfect. And that's it. And the rest of this is the instructions and other cables. I don't need all this right now because I'm just jumping the car. So I'm gonna put this to the side. So here's the battery. I took off the cover, it's dead. All I'm gonna do is take the red clamp connect it to the red battery terminal and the black clamp, connect it to the black terminal. So it's positive, negative. So I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, that's the red and then the black. Okay, so that's connected. Now all I'm gonna do is plug this in here to the jumper cable. So this opens up like this. Perfect. I'm gonna plug this in really easy to see there's a circular and then a rectangular part. Plugs that in. I see it says correct. So again, this has a lot of capabilities like making sure the polarity is not reversed. So this says it's correct. I can see I have three charges or three out of four, so I'm about 75% on the battery. But now all I have to do is go ahead and start the vehicle. That's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it up. Okay, so the car jump started successfully. Now to remove it, I'm gonna remove this jumper connector cable to the battery pack. Once that's done, perfect. I'm gonna go take out the negative and then take out the positive and I'm done. So if there's one thing that I wish they can improve on for future versions, maybe this is my feedback to Gulu, it's I wish these cables were a little bit longer because sometimes the battery is a little bit far away. You need a little bit more wiggle room. The cables on these are just a little bit small. That's my only piece of feedback, but otherwise, that's it. It doesn't really stop you from connecting to the battery. Of course, on a lot of batteries, the terminals are not that far away, so it's fine. But I would have appreciated, actually, if they just gave a little bit more, maybe another four inches, that would be nice on each side. So another feature I wanna talk about, this is important in case you get a completely dead battery. So you're gonna notice on this unit, 
there's actually something called the boost button. So what that does is for most of the time, when you go ahead and plug in one of these battery pack jumper kits into a battery, it's gonna wanna detect voltage before it actually goes ahead and starts the boosting process and puts the battery or the power into the battery. Now, if your battery is completely dead, and I've had that case with this, you're gonna go ahead and press the boost button. This is gonna bypass that level of protection. It's gonna go ahead, put that voltage into the battery. You're gonna have about 15 to 20 seconds to actually go ahead and start the car. Otherwise, it's gonna turn off again. So just in case you're trying to plug this in, you're like, wait, it's not working. That's because your battery is probably completely dead with no voltage and what you need to do, press the boost button here and then you're gonna be good to go. But honestly, this is super simple. Just this, this is gonna go back in the bag and you're done. Now, what I typically do, especially during the winter season, is after a boost, if I ever need to use it, go ahead and plug it back in. It is a fast charger with USB-C, so you can just plug it in at home, it'll charge in two to three hours and then you're done. Put it back in the vehicle and you're finished. But Honestly, this has been a really good unit. It saved me a couple times out there. I'm really happy with it for the price again. So if you guys have any questions, leave it down in the comment box down below. If you like this video, make sure you like it and make sure you subscribe to the channel, guys. Lots more videos on car content, videos, products, everything to do with cars. Follow me on my journey with that. But honestly, this has been a lifesaver and way better and much smaller than the other units I've ever used in the past. So I'm really happy with this. Let me know your thoughts. Do you have the Gulu jump starter system? If you do, let me know how it's been useful for you, but I will catch you guys in the next video. So look, this is actually really small. I put this inside of the car. I wouldn't be able to do this with other jump starter kits. Just right behind here on the seat. Done.